tonight I am cooking salmon. Now you see this big mama jama salmon, farm raised. And the reason why farm raised, because my son deals with a lot of attributes with mild autism and eating fish and mercury and all that, our holistic doctor of osteopath defeat autism now doctor said always get farm raised because at least you know what's in it. And fresh, unfortunately, we don't know what's in our waters. Not to preach, but that's part of my whole thing is knowing what you put in your system, organic and changing our lifestyle. So here at Alley in the Valley, I cook salmon once a week. Why do I cook salmon once a week? Because this salmon will last three or four days in the refrigerator. Um, I'm gonna totally show you how to season it, but what I use it for later is my son loves it. So we eat it for dinner, we eat it for lunch, I make scrambled eggs out of it with salmon, and then I can also do all kind of varieties of uh, a salad with salmon on top of it. So I do a big giant piece because it lasts all week at our house. So what I'm doing tonight, I'm doing salmon, I'm doing squash from my garden and from my neighbor, Barry, who brought me some of his squash. What we do in our community is we trade things and I didn't have enough squash, squash, so he brought me some of his. And I'm gonna do some balsamic brown rice. So let's show you what I'm gonna do. Salmon is so simple, so simple. I'm gonna put a couple holes in it with my fork, really easy. I'm gonna take kosher sea salt, Mediterranean sea salt. Remember I told you Afro-Tuscan? <laughs> That's how I cook, Afro-Tuscan. Little African-American, little Italian Tuscan. I don't know, I'm just making it up. But you know what, it kind of sticks. We're gonna do some pepper, okay? Fresh brown pepper. You can do white pepper too if you don't want to do regular pepper. I do a lot of white pepper like when I do garlic mashed potatoes and stuff like that. It's all to your preference. And I'm gonna do onions. You can do red or white. I think I'm gonna do white onions. And what you do is the onions caramelize with the fish. So good. What I have here is some white onions. Why I'm putting my onions to the side and sit on top, it takes the fish longer to cook for me. And this is a big piece of fish. So it's gonna take a little longer. So I put the white onions on the side that still get the juices when everything starts cooking. And, um, but it doesn't clog the fish down and slow the fish down from cooking. You can put them on top. I used to put them on top. It's just my style of cooking. Okay, well, I have red onions too, so let's put them all in there. <laughs> let's just mix it up. Usually, I use one type, but since I've cooked, cut both up, I'm gonna use both. All right, so that's the fish right there. Let me cut up a lemon. We're gonna always put lemon juice. I put lemon juice on everything. All right, and lemon juice kind of gives it that, mm, that yummy, yummy, yummy taste. Lemon juice all over my fish, just like that. Lemon juice all over it. I love lemons. Let me tell you something, I have a lemon tree. I've picked all my lemons off my lemon tree, so now I have to go buy lemons, because that's how much I use lemons. It's embarrassing. I have two lemon trees, and I've actually picked all the lemons off. I'm like, ugh, I can't believe it. So you know how much I use lemons. I use lemons in all my vegetables instead of salt sometimes. But today it's a special occasion, olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil. So your fish doesn't dry out, not a lot, just a little bit, but put it on your onions because you want your onions to caramelize. Let's do a little salt and pepper on my onions too. I didn't put any on there. Just a little, not much. All right, a little pepper again. All right, this is gonna be a meal that can last for three to four days. And I'm gonna use my secret recipe, which is teriyaki sauce. Teriyaki sauce is just the yummy flavor. Give salmon a, just a little bit, just a little bit, not much. You just put a little bit on. And now your salmon is ready to go in the oven. I am going to bake this for about 40 minutes maybe 45, depending. What you do is pull it out, cut in the inside and see if it's completely done. I like mine moist, but not dry. So I would say 40 minutes. So let's put this in the oven and then I'm gonna go to my squash, my garden grown squash, cut it up, saute it with some butter, olive oil, some thyme, some lemon, salt and pepper, really simple. 
and we're gonna do brown balsamic rice. Hey Tyler, is this your favorite dish ever? What is it? Don't lick it. What is it? Salmon. You like salmon? Yeah. All right, buddy. Mama's cooking you some salmon. All right, there's my salmon ready to go. Now, I'm gonna come back and do my squash. 